This video is going to give an overview of Dingo Postgres for Pivotal Cloud Foundry from Stark and Wayne. We'll talk a little bit about Stark and Wayne and Dingo, and we'll give a quick overview of the tile itself, and then dive a little bit into the management dashboard. So Stark and Wayne is a software consulting company focused on helping customers design and implement their Cloud Foundry systems. The company was started by Dr. Nick Williams, and we've successfully helped clients such as GE, Swisscom, Intel, and many others with our growing global staff. And so while we love consulting, we also decided that we can accelerate how we help Cloud Foundry users by building products based on our consulting experience. And so we've built Dingo Tiles to do just that. We have an S3 service broker, and if anyone is interested, do get in touch. But today we're talking about our Postgres tile, which is currently available in the Pivotal Network Marketplace. So we focused on Postgres because it's a hugely popular database that we know there's a lot of demand for among Cloud Foundry users. It's a powerful open source database and has a huge community with a lot of support and extensibility. So what our Postgres tile offers is automated provisioning, continuous archiving, simple and easy to use tools for disaster recovery, and it's easy to install, and everything is included. And what we mean by this is that it's not just a service broker. This tile allows developers to create fully orchestrated Postgres clusters for them to immediately use. One of the most important things we focused on was ensuring that this tile is enterprise production ready. This isn't just a tool for development purposes, but it's a tile for people who want to quickly run Postgres clusters in their production environments. This tile will allow many developers in your organization to deploy any number of databases and archives for the many applications running across your enterprise. Getting into what the tile offers, each database is a cluster and each cluster is itself a single service instance, which contains a configurable number of VMs based on how you set it up. So each cluster contains a leader and a replica, which run in different availability zones, allowing for high availability. If the leader fails, then the replica is promoted to leader. The application connects to the new leader, a replica is restored, and the system is healthy. Now in the event of a total loss, normal promotion won't work. Fortunately, the Postgres tile uses continuous archiving for such a scenario. If both database servers are lost in disaster, the archive remains. So after bringing the database cluster up again, you can recover from your archives. Currently, the archiving is accomplished by connecting your Postgres installation to your AWS S3 account. We'll show this in the dashboard later on. And finally, disaster recovery isn't just for a single database and archive. Disasters can be very stressful, so we've built our Postgres tile to ensure disaster recovery for every database is as stress-free as possible. Okay, so let's look at installing Dingo Postgres. You can find our tile on the Pivotal Network Marketplace. You can scroll down to it or search for it. Download our tile. You will be asked to agree to a EULA. And after you download it, you can find the rest of the instructions on our website, dingotiles.com. Uh, the same documentation also exists, of course, on uh, the Pivotal Network Marketplace site as well. Uh, remember, before installing, you will need an AWS account. Uh, you will need uh, an S3 bucket set up and ready to go, and you will need to know your API credentials in order to integrate your Postgres installation with your S3 bucket. So after you download the tile, uh, simply follow the instructions to upload the tile that you just downloaded into Ops Manager. Uh, you will import a product. And then after importing it into Ops Manager, you will, of course, see it in your Ops Manager dashboard. Now, after you've installed it, you will have to do a few configurations. So click into the tile. Okay, so here's the management dashboard where you'll perform certain configurations. This is where you will integrate your Postgres installation to your S3 bucket. Uh, this is where you can set up logging, and this is where you can also uh, increase and decrease the size of your cluster as well. Uh, we'll have another video, or you can also find instructions on how to perform these actions on our documentation. Okay, so let's do a quick demo of getting Ghost up and running uh, on Dingo Postgres. Uh, Ghost is a blogging tool that we use at Stark and Wayne for our own blog, and we also run it on Dingo Postgres. So first, let's just check the services we have available. And there you can see our Dingo Postgres service with its plan cluster. Uh, there's also our S3 service broker, which we mentioned earlier. 
So first, let's grab the Ghost app. This is built for Pivotal Cloud Foundry and Dingo Postgres. So first, we'll push the app, which we'll call Ghost app. And we are going to have it so that it doesn't start after it's pushed because it requires the database, which is the step we'll do next. So we'll run it as a no start. Okay, so after that's done, we will set up the Dingo Postgres service itself. That's plan and we will call it PG service. Okay, so it called out to the service broker and it is now provisioning the cluster and we can check that status. And it's currently in progress, so we can check again or we can do a CF watch. And now we can see that it has completed provisioning. Great, so both are ready to go. So now we will bind our Postgres service to our ghost app. Now that that's completed, we can restart our app. Okay, so now we've completed the restart and we can check our app. And there we have our ghost blog software running on Pivotal Cloud Foundry and Dingo Postgres. We can also check the logs. And we can see the app connecting to the database, the database migrations, the tables getting populated, and the initial data itself, which is our very first blog post. So to recap, the Dingo Postgres tile for Pivotal Cloud Foundry is a complete Postgres solution that is ready to go for your enterprise production environment. You can find our tile on the Pivotal Network Marketplace, you can email us, or you can find us on Slack. Thank you.